hopefully it'll help them out. And I know I had fun doing it and got to meet a lot of great people and they're, they are all heroes and, and they're all tough people and they all um, subscribe to the teach a man to fish philosophy and, you know, that kind of goes, like you said, it kind of goes along with tough people. You know, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Well, we just had uh, General Boykin, Buck Sexton, um, Brandon Webb, all of them contributed to uh, the war on terror. We have some of our friends from the New York City Police Department here. You know, after 9-11, we, we really started looking around for heroes. And we immediately think police officers, firefighters, military personnel. But this show that's going to air tomorrow on GAC, I mean, it really highlights, as you just said, if, if there's a, a church that needs to be rebuilt or a food shelter that needs to be restocked or a school where somebody needs to volunteer or a family that's fallen in really tough times, it's amazing that, you know, in our busy lives, we still have people among us who take the time to do something for no other reason than it's the right thing to do. Yeah, and I, I think that there's still a lot of people in this country that still um, believe in the philosophy that, that neighbors help neighbors and uh, communities uh, take care of their own, you know. And, um, and, and it's been heartening, really, for me to see. And, and I, didn't, I didn't think that we would have trouble finding enough heroes to do this show. Um, so it, it has kind of restored, you know, my faith in humanity a little bit uh, because uh, we 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 had trouble you know just limiting it to a certain number of people because there are really good folks out there everywhere doing yeoman's work every day and uh, just trying to help other people for no other reason you know they're not doing it because they're trying to enrich themselves or, or gain notoriety they just they just have a desire to to help other folks and there's still that out there in this country. Um, there are still people that believe that, uh, you know, communities take care of their own. Now, this seems to be one component of why people love you. I watch your videos. I went back and watched a bunch of your videos, and they're not just country music videos. <laughs> I mean, Rough and Ready or One Hot Mama or uh, Got My Game On. Uh, you, are, you, you just get into the characters in these videos you put on a hell of a show and i got to see you i mean up close in a very small venue and in you know there was the apprentice is this the opposite of doing something with with donald trump is this the opposite of that I mean, doing something you, with you no doing something yeah, you're do, opposite <laughs> do, doing something you're with poor <laughs> and you thanks are, is it yeah. the, is it the opposite when you find an, an average american who who you can you can spotlight um well it, it, was, uh, it wasn't the opposite of working with Trump. I mean, you talk about somebody who's genuine, man. That guy is just, people ask me all the time, you know, tell me about Trump. What do you think about Trump? And I say, if you formed an opinion about Trump over the years based on what you've seen on television, then that's an honest opinion of the man because I swear he doesn't turn it on just because the red light on the camera's on. He acts that way all the time. I swear. That's what he's like. So. Well, good to go. Trace Atkins, thank you so much for coming in studio. We're going oh, to okay. probably, probably make... Oh, we're going to come back. I wasted back. all my time on your show talking about Trump. No, 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 no. We're going to come back. We're going to spend more time with you right after this. Oh.